the Emperor is dead. And I hope he's not actually dead. Because I've been glazing this guy harder than any meat rider in a show. More than Diablo glazes Rimuru. Anytime the Emperor breathes, I'm like, oh my god, he sees everything. He is seven steps ahead. Everyone else is playing checkers. Bro is playing 40 chess. But he's done. You got poisoned? Tuna just took him out? That's it? The Emperor really got taken out by these goddamn furries? It is what it is, I guess. Now, the show is going to turn into an interesting uh, direction. Because the peace treaty can no longer be done. Prince Zolzal, or Zalzal, whatever his name is. He's smiling, realizing that, oh shit, my dad's dead now? I'm going to fucking go up. But turns out, who's actually in the controlling? Bunny girl. How is Itami going to solve this? I don't know. We're doing mate shit. You know, you know, we're doing like presentation stuff. And we only have a couple episodes left. So I doubt this. You know, this arc will be concluded in this season, but hey, let's figure it out today's reaction. Oh boy. Surely nothing will go wrong. Few defeats. Okay, we should have tactically just dropped a bomb here too during the Emperor's, like the new Emperor's introduction. You know how we blew up the Senate? We should have done something like that for the orientation. Wise, wise, and it ends with the 600th year, bro. It's over. The crazy shit is, hasn't these people all seen Military Might of Japan? I'm not sure if everyone has, but we've been doing multiple sessions, meeting with important people, showing them the power of modern warfare. And these idiots actually think that they can contest us? Okay, we're all listening to it too. At the very least, his public speaking, the charisma, it is there. It's just, goddamn, he's so fucking stupid. Also, you're right. We get more action this way. You're right. We need this. Pina, what are you doing? Pina, do something. She can't do anything. Wait, 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 wait. Tiude was burning a thing called speech. Uh, is this the official speech? What's Tude laughing at? She's burning something called speech. The prince just gave a speech. Did Tude just give him, like, the the speech to do? Was everything T uh, Zolza just said, you know, what Tude wrote? And this is the original speech that Zolza should have said? I'm not really sure what this means. At least Zolza can read off a script, man. Zolza's coup. Zolza didn't do shit. The Emperor's status. If you if you see here, right? Techni technically, the Emperor... Pina had the Emperor underneath some cover, right? So, technically... Technically, the Emperor might be alive. Title's called Dangerous Sisters. Wait, 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 wait. Let's focus. Let's hold up with that. She's attempting to acquire the title of Master, it seems. Oh, Lele. Okay, it's just straight up. It's just Lele. Like, our, our Lele. I'm like, what are you talking about? Right, because the Emperor Lele is like technically like a, a Imperial blood or something, like Imperial uh, affiliation. And the, and the Emperor was trying to do something, but then he already got poisoned. So hold up. Hmm. Busy my ass! Well, they imprisoned the senators, huh? Is it Sugawara? Oh, no, no, their own senators, not the Japanese. Impossible, what proof do you have? We'll find a proof eventually. These are the fucking... These are the fucking idiots that we're working on right now, bro. <laughs> like proof? Uh, we'll, we'll get that later. Fuck it. I'm, I'm the emperor. I'll, I'll do whatever I want, right? Convenient proof you'll just make up. He ain't planning shit. Tude is. Wait, 
How are you gonna win though? You can't compete! Are these are the fucking idiots? These are the prisoners of war. I was telling Zolza, like hyping him up last episode, right? Okay, so they immediately get big general promotions. <laughs> yeah, they seem like to be the idiot trio of this show. Okay. So what are you gonna do? Eth less ethical methods. Like <laughs> goblins? Wait, <laughs> goblin stampede? So, like, you're gonna use goblins and bandits to do your bidding for you, but couldn't we simply just kill all the goblins with their guns? Okay. Having our own men dress as the enemy and attack villages. Now we're doing. Is this technically called guerrilla warfare? I'm not really sure, but instead of engaging in direct confrontation, what you're doing now is espionage. Spies, assassins, backstabbing. You're not really like defeating their army, but you're kind of just like fucking shit up little by little inside until the rot spreads. Okay, the reputation. That's what we're gonna change. What pride? This is kind of true. You know, they might not be completely idiot trio. What that guy just said is objectively true. They cannot fight head on with military might. So what do you do? You basically try to make the masses turn on themselves through reputation tarnishing. And little shit fights here and there, little skirmishes like that. I, I think it makes sense. It's a really shitty thing to do, but it is this it is the objective smart thing to do right now. Other than just fucking peace. Like you should have just done peace. Like what you should have just straight up done some peace. But again, if we have that happening, we can't, you know, we, we need these idiots to like rouse shit up, or else we can't really do the power fantasy just like going oh boy. Oh, Diablo, what are you doing? Is he getting exiled? You ain't running, you're riding a cart. But basically, he's getting out of here. I feel like Zolza would be down to kill Diablo. Or at least Tude would do something like that. Diablo getting out of here is probably the smart thing to do. They're not really on good terms, right? Are they? Okay, he's gonna get other countries to help bring down Zolza. Everything is complete chaos, bro. I kind of want to see that. Run the horse over her. <laughs> okay. I was like, holy shit. I thought this pussy fucking turned left, bro. His left. It's our right. His left, bro. I thought he was going to actually run her over for a second. So, Diablo's got his own clans. Zolzal's just being puppeteered. He's a dictator, but Tude is the one controlling. Diablo realizes this is all going to shit. At least I'm going to have, you know, the allies, the other countries to revolt against this fucking clown of a brother, right? And Pina's now like, shit. All the empires and shitters, regardless of Diablo's or Zolzal's plan, how it works out. What do we do? Simple. Contact Itami. Hello, Granny. The way she talks is so young, man. Is this some Frieden shit where Rory was basically the same? But yeah, 50 years ago, Mimosa would have been maybe in her 20s or something. Something about Granny's talking like this is kind of weird, man. She sounds like a gyaru, and there's nothing wrong with being a gal, but you know, I feel like... Ah, Mimosa can get it, bro. Where's the wood in chat, man? I'm surprised y'all ain't spamming wood. Oh my god, Jesus. Never seen her so excited. Lele loves books. But Lele is not into BL, the yaoi stuff that Bozes and Pina is really into. True. True. What a big sis. She's gatekeeping, I think. So she's just gatekeeping and she's afraid of, you know, other people getting the same kind of accessibility to these books. <laughs> Lele is just thriving and Big Sis is just like, kind of like the failure of the family. Oh no. 
money speaks at the end of the day. Minerals. Adamantium? Adamantium. Don't try to fix your ch- Hold on, you got the hair chilling up again. What is that? Fifty years of homework? Why are there so many races in this world? So that we can be racist? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not so that we can be racist, but in Isekai, different races usually exist so that, you know, they're a dominant race and people are like, you know, sold off to slavery. Like, Isekai and slavery, Isekai and racism, it's like a theme in every fucking anime, but why are there so many different races? Good question. Yeah? God? Party? What? Oh, Primal Forest. God. Ancestor, the creation myth of the elves. Oh, we're going to the fucking ancient days. Man and a woman, ancestors. Basically, Adam and Eve, but they're elves and they're ancestors. All the different clans of elves scattered around the continents tell more or less the same story. So all the other elves also agree with them being ancestors and God was there and there were two elves. Oh! Am I, am I allowed to show this? Am I, am I, am I, uh... It's, it's, it's not, don't ban me Twitch. This is not an actual nipple. This doesn't count. This does not count. Where's the primal forest? Arnus is the primal forest. Arnus is the origin of where everything is from. Every species, not just elves, okay? Even goblins. But the primal forest... I thought there were only elves in the beginning as ancestor, and, and then it was basically a story of elves. North and south, and going throughout the continents, they all point towards Arnus. But different races are also saying the same shit. So their ancestors were also in the primal forest. This doesn't really answer why there are many different races. The gate opens. Humans from Earth. Well... Are they humans from Earth? It, it would presumably be humans from Air Earth, but it would be crazy if the gate was not one directional. As in like, okay, you have the gate in Adonis, right? And presumably, it's just a one link to Japan. But imagine if it's not just one link to Japan. It's like multiple different locations throughout space and time, whatever, and it just happens Japan is just one of them. That would lead to way more creative things happening, but so far I think we can assume that it is from Japan, because that is the only gate that exists on Earth. Yes. Exactly. Well, she, you're not really answering why. So hold on, I, 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 elves were in the uh, in, in the primal forest in the beginning, but what about the different races that all point towards the same shit? Or are you saying it all began with elves and then people came out of the gate and started fucking and they started to make different fucking subspecies off the elves? No, my understanding is there were elves, there were dwarves, there were different races that all say the primal forest is Adonis, for, you know, Adonis. But then at some point, people came out of the gate and started fucking with different races and then they made babies. Or the elves are the only one there and then the different races came through the gates and then fucked and made different races. I'm not really sure, but so far I think it's safe to assume the elves were the origin. They're like the beginning race and then different, you know, species started to come through the gate and they all started mingling. Yeah. Mm. 50 years of homework, bro. 50 years. The gods. Explain to me about the concept of gods here, though. So demigods are basically just, like, sent by the gods to do their biddings to maintain order. But, like, we haven't really met Hardy. We haven't really met Emroy, right? There's been, like, little suggestions on who Hardy could be. I mean... Rory just looked at like some kind of doll, like a, like a gothic Lolita doll and says, Oh my god, Hardy, right? But we still have yet to meet a god yet. True. Sword attack. 
Laptop. Laptop. Wait, are we gonna show the power of a laptop during a presentation? Like, behold, the newest MacBook. We also have internet. Well, I don't think we have internet here, right? The in the concept of internet would fucking blow their fucking mind. Even just a laptop with base like level little simple offline programs, a calculator app, you know, fucking Microsoft, you know, Excel, Word, stuff like that would amaze them. But like, if we show them like an internet, huh? They would go crazy, but we don't really have connection here, right? I, I don't think like we can connect to internet beyond the gates. Dude, this girl is so fucking... Is she supposed to be funny? I just find her pitiful, man. She's like, oh, I'm supposed to be big sister, but I'm so broke and I have no knowledge about anything. And my little sister is so much better than me and I have so much insecurities. Now, okay, I'm just going to give up all my dreams and I'm going to become a housewife. Hey, Tommy, you're single? You can't even be Tommy's fucking housewife. There's so many different girls in line. This older sister, I, maybe it's supposed to be like a funny running gag, but I can't help but hate characters that are so down on them with so much self-pity like that, man. I get it. It's a comedic relief. But when I see this loser mentality, it's just like pisses me off and it makes no sense for me to get upset at her when it's supposed to be a comedic moment but god damn it's just like don't you think you deserve better <laughs> that's right and she calls us a toaster <laughs> what's his money situation <laughs> perfect you think we're gonna accept you wait mimosa what are you talking wait 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 mimosa what the fuck was that is Mimosa going too? Ho oh, oh, ho, Granny, Granny, wait, gra hold the fuck up, Granny. Hmm? He's not single? Wait, wait, he's not single anymore. Itami completed a ceremony of three nights. With when was this? Did we skip a couple episodes? What? I don't even know what that is. What do you? I, I, I mean, that, so all these girls, Rory, Tuka, even Yao at this point, we've all slept in like the same roof multiple times. Nah, what do you mean? Three nights of sleep under the same roof is all it takes to say we're married? What the fuck? One, two, three. Yeah! Tuka has! It doesn't count because she thought that every time he was dead. Because you can't date your daughter. You can't really marry your daughter. But she's still calling us daddy. I don't know. Oh, her lipstick got purple, bro. It actually went purple. Chill, chill, chill. What's the big sis? You can't even be a housewife. What are you doing? Oh! L big sister, bro. She's a terrible sister, man. Mimos is still having fun. That's a lot of Aras. Oh, uh, ara, 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 ara. Here we go, dual time. Is that a mic? She still hasn't cleaned her hair. You can destroy the house, destroy the city, destroy the world. Just don't hurt the face. Let's go, Lele. Basically using minerals to use magic. Holy shit. She taking damage? It's just a friendly duel, right? Okay. Break the shield is the game. Well, it's a staff, but she looks like she's you know, like flying like a witch. You gotta let him fight it out. Ooh. Big Sister's Authority is her name to move. Lele, so fast. Now come down with the hollow purple. Wait, is she done? No, no, I don't believe it. Uh, what the fuck? What, 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 what the? Is this also magic? She just fucking threw a coin at her.
<laughs> well, her, her entire thing is like minerals and stuff, right? So the coin is probably made of some minerals. So I guess this technically is magic. Okay, okay. We her broke first. Her broke first. Oh shit! It's all red. Zaza! Is that Zaza? Zaza from SAO? No, this is a. Uh, this gotta be a uh, 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 the the person. Remember what the Empire was saying, right? What was Zosa saying? They were saying, get some people hiding as common villagers. But it's not in the Empire's best interest to kill Lele, right? Because Zosa wanted Lele to show up. Lele being affiliated with the Empire could be something that they could use to their advantage. It doesn't make sense to assassinate Lele right here. So why would this person, if sent by the Empire, do this? Surely someone's gonna stop this. Mustache, she got a mustache, kind of. Oh! That's an Empire guy, right? The, sh the, the one that protected us. I think that's an Empire Knight armor. What a what twist? Your house is gone. Two fucking dumbass sisters. Because they're stupid as duel, this family is now homeless. This is fucked, bro. This is funny to you? This is, imagine if this is your house, bro. And these two dumb bitches are fucking squabbling over fucking whoever's better. Now they're fucking without a house. <laughs> they think a fruit basket? You think a fruit basket is enough for insurance? Sorry. Here's some fruits. Shit, all my problems better now. God damn, I don't need a house anymore. Okay. Oh, she doesn't know that we took down a fire dragon. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Didn't even hit hollow, you know, hollow purple with it either. Yeah, we're a dragon slayer now too. I'm sorry, you're washed. You're washed. Empire affiliation. You fucking idiot! Wait! Didn't he literally plan to use Lele? But like, why would you send an assassin for Lele? How does that- but then he's fucking stupid. He's fucking stupid. Like, I thought your plan was to get her here and use her to your advantage. But if you straight out just kill her, how how does that work in your favor? The Emperor did want to use Lele, but in the beginning of the episode, Zolzal specifically talks about Lele again. And it's like, okay, looks like Zolzal's continuing with the plan to use Lele because of the Empire affiliation. But bro, it's 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 now kind of like the show is pretty much telling us, yeah, it was Zolzal. He's jealous. He's he's not the assassin, but it's like, what? <laughs> Rufurus. No, that's what you want too. What does that say? You can convict anyone with that? Yo, this bunny is cooking up something big. I do like this. This is the second time we saw it. The first time was the, in the intro. The shadows of Tiri's smile just like widening, bro. It looks so fucking menacing. Pied Piper. Pied Piper. We're basically married, right? Slept underneath the roof. Three days, three nights. Hmm? God damn, that's the episode. You said it when they just fucking just cut on me. I thought we we're gonna. I didn't, I didn't got to a fucking cliffhanger, but that's the episode. What? happened this episode we're continuing off of the emperor's supposed death and i am still coping right i am still coping on the 0.000001 percent chance that the emperor is still alive because it is one scene here with pina and the emperor right right over here right so like yes he's in bed and they said what is the emperor's you know condition and it's most likely that he's dead but like what if this is like oh he's faking it and this is all part of his plan no the emperor glazing i think has to end bro's done 
Zolzal's taking control, but it's not really Zolzal in control. It's actually Bunny Girl Tude. Tude doesn't want anything good to happen between, you know, the, the green people or the Empire or anything else. Everything just must burn down. So she's cooking up a storm right now. And Lele seems to be an important figure piece, but it's kind of stupid how Zolzal sent an assassin after Lele, you know, during this duel. The big sister, look, Mimosa's funny, I guess, but the big sister, she's a fucking walking L. I'm sorry. She's a fucking terrible question. I'm sorry, terrible character. I get it that it's, so, it's supposed to be like a power fantasy for a big sister to be like so insecure with the little sister and say like, oh no, I'm so broke. I'm still single. I got nothing going on. Yeah, yeah, I'll just reduce myself to a housewife. And then she can't even do that and still does a duel and still loses. I don't know. And, and she even like dunk Lele's head with that fucking soup. I don't know. I feel like this character is unfortunately written in a way that I just fucking hate her. L sister is probably one of my least favorite characters so far, which is saying a lot because, you know, shit like Zolzal fucking exists, man. At least we had a pretty cool duel, but the duel wasn't even supposed to be like the hype shit. The duel was cool for Lele doing all this shit other than destroying the house, right? That was kind of funny at the end. But the very end, when everything went red, yo, I was like, holy shit, is this death gun from SAO? No, it is an assassin sent by the jealous one, who is presumably Prince Zolzal. It's again, makes no fucking sense. If you're trying to use Lele, why would you try to kill her? And yes, nice that you destroy the fucking house of these poor people. You give them a little fruits basket. Bro, you tell me, you're so fucking rich. You have so much fucking fun. You secured the adamantium. Why could you not at least fucking restore this house? But hey... They get a fruit basket, and Tudy at the end seems like she has some kind of plan, some kind of order that's allowed to convict anyone that she pleases. So basically, you don't need proof anymore. If she says so, if the prince says something, that's it. You're going to fucking jail. This entire place is going to shit. I feel bad for Pina. How are we going to resolve this? Only one way to find out. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.